Business application of ratio and proportion. Number one. Judith, who owns a specialty store, finds that the sales of earrings run 2 to 5 as compared to the sales of bracelets. If Judith has 1,050 available for both purchase of these two items, how much should she spend for earrings and how much for the bracelet? So the two quantities we are comparing here are the earrings and the bracelet. So our ratio is earrings to bracelet and it is in a ratio of 2 to 5. Now, kung si Judith daw ay may 1,050 pesos na pambili for the bracelet and the uh, earrings, tigmagkan ang pwede niya i sa bracelet at sa, at sa earrings. To solve for that, we're going to add the two quantities, provided we're going to assume a value of x. 2x and 5x equals 1,050. And then, solve natin yung x. 2x plus 5x is 7x equals 1,050. To solve for x, we divide both sides by 7. 1,050 divided by 7 is equal to 150. And then, after solving x, we are going to substitute x to our quantities. For 2x, that's 2 times 150 equals 300. And then 5x is 5 times 150. This is 750. Now, to check if our answer is correct, pag inad natin to, dapat yan, 1,050. So, therefore, si Judith pwede mag ng 300 pesos for the earrings and 750 for the bracelet. Number two. Of the total entrepreneur in Barangay Masagana, the ratio of those who finish elementary education, high school education, and college education is 3 to 2 to 5. If there is a total of 650 entrepreneurs, how many are elementary graduates, high school graduates, and college graduates? The ratio given here are or is 3 to 2 to 5. And 3 represents the number of entrepreneurs who finished elementary. 2 is uh, 2 represents the entrepreneurs who finished high school education and 5 for the college education. So, if there are 650 entrepreneurs daw, tigi ilan yun. So, to do that, we are going to let x as the number of entrepreneurs, and then we're going to multiply it to each of the ratio. So, that would be 3x, and then we will add each ratio. 3x plus 2x plus 5x equals, there are 650 entrepreneurs, 650. And then we're going to add 3 plus 2 plus 5 is 10x equals 650. To solve for x, divide both sides by 10. Therefore, x is equal to 65. And then we are going to substitute the x to this given ratios. For 3x, that's 3 times 65 equals 195 for 2 times 65 it is equal to 130 and for 5 times 65 is 325 if we're going to add the 3 dapat yan 650 therefore 195 of the entrepreneurs graduated from elementary, 130 has high school education, and 325 has college education.
Number three, Mang Ramon wants to plant three times as many rows of cassava and twice as many rows of corn as he has for peanuts. What is the ratio of cassava as to corn as to peanuts? If he has a total of 264 rows available, how many rows will he have for each product? Going back to the problem, may, meron tayong dalawang sasagutan. We are asked, what is the ratio ng cassava, ng corn, at ng peanuts? And then, second is, kung may 264 rows available si Mang Ramon, tigi ilang rows yung tatlo. So, the ratios or the quantities that we are comparing are the cassava, the corn, and the peanut. Ano ba yung ratio? Individual ratio nila. So, let us go back to the problem. Three times as many rows of cassava and twice as many rows of corn as he has for peanuts. In this problem, we are going to let x as the peanut. Twice as many rows of corn as he has for peanuts. So the corn is going to be the 2x. And then, Mang Ramon wants to plant three times as many rows of cassava. 3x. There. These are the individual ratios of each product, the cassava, the corn, and the peanuts. Next, kung meron daw 264 rows available si Mang Ramon, tigi ilang rows silang dalawa. To do that, we're going to add the three ratios, equate it to 264. 3x plus 2x plus x equals 264. And then we will add... This is 6x equals 264. Dividing both sides by 6 to solve for x. 264 divided by 6 is 44. Ayan. And then, we are going to substitute the x to the individual ratios. For 3, 3x is 3 times 44, and that is equal to 132. For 2 times 44, this is 88. And for the x, this is equal to 44. To check, kailangan pag inad natin yan lahat, the total is 264. Therefore, for cassava, mag-aalat si Mang Ramon ng 132 rows. For corn, mag-aalat siya ng 88 rows. Para kay peanut naman, 44 rows. Number 4. ABC Company promised to donate 5 pesos for every 1 peso in contribution received for the victims of Typhoon Ulysses. If the total contribution received by the company is 12,368, how much will they give us? Donation. The two ratios, what are the two ratios we are comparing here? It's the uh, donation and the contribution. The donation na ibibigay ni ABC Company sa bawat contribution na marireceive for the victim na Typhoon Ulysses. And ABC Company promise 5 peso donation for every 1 peso contribution. Now, if the total contribution is 12,368, 68, magkano ang idodonate ng ABC company. This is our ratio. So, we're going to construct a proportion out of this. And that is 5 to 1 equals N to 12,368. And then, to solve for N, we are going to multiply the means and the extremes. 
1 times n is n. 5 times 12,368 is 61,840. Therefore, our n is equal to 61,840. ABC company will contribute, uh, will give a donation of 61,840 for the for this corresponding contribution. Last number five. Joselito and Bernard agrees to go into partnership. Joselito invested 48,000 and Bernard invested 30,000. What part of the total capital is that of Joselito's? What part of the total capital is that of Bernard? What is the total ratio of the investments. So, number one, first question, what part of the total capital is that of Joselitos? What part of the total capital of is of Bernard and what is the total ratio of the investment? To do that, we are going to compare the investment of Joselito to the total capital nilang dalawa. So, kung si Joselito ay may investment na 48,000 tapos si Bernard may investment na 30,000 anong part ng total investment yung kay Jose dito? So una ano muna yung total investment? Total investment nilang dalawa So that is 78,000 Ito yung total investment. Magka, uh, anong bahagi niya yung kay Joselito? Nagbigay siya ng 48,000. So, for Joselito, 48,000, we are going to compare it or divide it with the total of 78,000. And this will give us 8 over 13. Or, this is... 0.6154 So, 8 over 13 or 8 parts of this 78,000 comes from Joselito. Next, yung kay Bernard naman. Bernard contributed 30,000 over 78,000 This is 5 over 13 or, this is 0 0.3846. So, 3 eighths or 5 parts of the total investment comes from Bernard. Now, what is the ratio of the investment? The ratio of the investment is 8 to 5. 